best cardio session I'll prep. 753 calories. 45 minutes. I'm not gonna miss this. Every morning, dude, I haven't missed a cardio session since uh, 16 weeks out. So I've been having this day in 11 weeks. Yesterday morning, I woke up at 187. I went to bed at 197. 10 pounds. There's no room for air being this close to Olympia. And it's all about just crossing our T's and dotting our I's at this point. You know, uh, all the work has to be done now leading up because when it comes to the day of the show, you know, you can't go back in time and fix what you did in the past 12 weeks. So you got to make sure that you're holding yourself to the highest standard every day leading up. You can have hands down or hands on the hip. Got knee, turn that knee out. Got knee. So every Saturday, Wadi and his team tried and true. And you know, some of the other coaches, they come in here and they host these posing seminars and clinics to help the, dial in the competitors for their upcoming competitions. So on Saturdays, I'd come in here, help polish up these guys' posing, you know, pass a little knowledge on to the next up and coming generation and just try to simplify things for them to make them feel more comfortable, more confident on stage. And um, just going on, based off what I saw today, we've made a lot of progress with some of these newer guys. And it's nice to see the confidence start to come out of them towards the end of the session. Today we're going to go over chest, we're going to be doing a press movement to a fly movement. We're going to focus on the upper chest for Jeremy to bring more uh, three-dimensional and uh, complete his disease. Right, good. Half. Good. One for you. Six. You want to help? Let me know. All right, come on. One, two, three. Good. Oh, yep. Push. Good. Three, two, push. Showtime, you know, every week gets a little more exciting, getting a little more anxious as well. It's been a long time since I've been on stage with these guys, so uh, there's just a lot of anticipation of seeing, you know, how I stack up against this new generation of men's physique competitors. Everybody says the division has evolved, but I, all, I have also evolved a lot. I've grown a lot, and I've put on a lot of work, so a combination of excitement, a little anxiety, a whole lot of faith. So we're five weeks out. Best I've ever been at this point in prep, best I've ever felt, best I've ever looked, and uh, I'm just looking to finish this one strong. Hey. It's our first prep together. I've learned a lot about the way his body works and the way he is mentally, and we've had to make adjustments from the start. When we first go into it, I'm thinking it's a healthy 25-year-old, and he's thinking he's a healthy 25. When we figure out he's a warrior at 32 years old, and so we started out the prep going really heavy and hard, uh, trying to push the body to almost a breaking point and we find out that that's not what he is going to get the most out of. So uh, between Ben and I and Jeremy, together we collaborated and found that we can go 30-40% less and do more negatives and time under tension and get more out of him. And what's happened in that time is he's his body's healed, he feels better mentally and we get more out of the body and we've gotten more growth out of him through those little tweaks and volume training and learning how to adjust to his 
uh, new style. I think that uh, we've created a package that can stand next to anybody in the world. Spending this prep away from my family is, um, it hasn't been easy. It's definitely a big sacrifice. You know, I came out here to Denver to, you know, really focus and prioritize my prep. Um, back home, you know, I'm limited on resources and coming out to Denver, I have the gym I need to train at. I got my coach out here. I have great training partners. You know, I have great therapists out here that are helping me along the way as well. And everything's just very, um, centralized in Armbrist Pro Gym, so it makes it a lot easier for me to get the help that I need. As far as being away from my wife and my daughter, it, this is, it's, it's, it's difficult because, you know, for one, my wife's a stay-at-home mom. You know, for myself, I work from home, so we're together all the time, you know. Since my daughter's been here, it's just been the three of us all day, every day. That's what we're used to. So coming out here and being gone for, you know, 25 days at a time away from them, it's a huge sacrifice that my wife and I had to really talk about and think about. You know, being here, you know, it reminds me every day of what you know I'm giving up in the time I can spend with my family to be here. And if I'm going to be here and I'm going to do that, I'm going to make sure every second counts. I'm not going to let this go to waste. And you know, me, the better I do at Olympia, the better I'm going to do. It's going to do for my family and our future. So. The sacrifice that we're making as a family to do this is it's not just on my behalf of my wife so my wife too and my daughter you know that's a constant reminder on a daily basis of, you know <clears throat> I can't give anything less than my absolute best so post workout meal we got um, 40 grams of carbs worth of cream of rice one banana and uh, two scoops of whey iso I'm gonna enjoy these last bit of carbs I get for the day. I'm gonna take my time and enjoy these. After yesterday's 800 gram carb refeed, this feels like nothing. <laughs> I'm even gonna save that little bit right there. I can't let it go to waste. Oh, hi, baby. What? Are, what is that? What are you eating? Egg. Egg. Oh, you're eating some egg? That looks delicious. How you doing, baby? You having a good day? She hasn't been very happy since I've been gone. She just doesn't, she's kind of, I feel like she's like rebelling a little bit because like I went home and visited last week and now she's kind of mad at me that I'm gone again. The goodbye this past time wasn't very easy. Ella, can you show me your muscles? I'm minute. You need a minute? She's gonna go pump up. I think she just likes to play hard to get with you when she talks to you because she thinks it gets her ice cream when you get home. Yeah, I'll take her to ice cream when I get home. She gets all the yeah. ice cream she wants. But she's also really proud of you though. She brags to everybody about your muscles and that you're working and that you're on your muscle diet. She mm -hmm. tells everyone. It's you know, exciting, babe. Yeah, no, we're getting close. Everybody at the gym's getting excited too. I'm noticing like more heads are turning, more people are like coming up and telling me I look good. So that's always encouraging. Try not to stress over it too much because there's only so much I can control at this point. The more I try controlling it, the more frustrated I get. So I'm just trying to like just focus on me and what I'm doing. The more you expose yourself to what everybody else is doing, that's when all the you know the second guessing comes into play. The anxiety heightens, and you're already at such a sense of emotional state at this stage, you know, yeah. being exhausted, being tired, being so lean. You don't want to waste your time looking at any of that nonsense. You just got to focus what you need to get done in each day and, and do it. And that's what you've been doing it. I think it's really paying off for you. Yeah. I love you. Look. I love you. I love you nuts. <laughs> Okay, cutie pie. She's saying Nux, babe. Oh, Nux, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, love you guys. Love, love you, babe. Have Bye. a great day. I miss them. It's hard to be gone this long, but thank God we have FaceTime. If you guys understood the point I was at physically and emotionally in a time when I decided I wanted to come back and compete at Olympia, you guys would think I was absolutely crazy. There were a lot of times during this whole preparation that I didn't feel like I was good enough, that I didn't feel like I still had it, that, you know, I didn't think I could fight anymore. That's kind of like 
what this whole in prepping body is, is just my transformation of myself internally and externally. And that has been the, the core of why I'm doing this. It's, of course, I want to get on stage and I want to win again. That would be the, the ultimate. And, you know, I'm bringing my best every single day. With only five weeks left, you know, I'm almost done. And everything that, that's been previous 19 weeks has built me up so much stronger. The person I am going to these next five weeks is that resilient, undeniable Jeremy Buendia that I know I've always been. And nothing is gonna stop me from bringing my absolute best to the stage. And, you know, I know when that day comes on November 4th, 2023, when I make my Olympia comeback after being gone for five years, that I have left no stone unturned.